What's up ladies and gentlemen, out here today in Copenhagen. Cold day, but I'm here with Copa90 and Poe. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we're gonna take a look at these guys, the brand new Neymar Liquid Diamond Hypervenom. And we're gonna give you a bull review in just a few seconds. But before any of that, Poe, break it down to us. What is Copa90 all about? Here at Copa90, we're all about amazing football stories. We're about the fans, we're about fan culture. I'm a massive fan, so we've got to be about the fans. And we speak to some of the biggest footballers on the planet. And the Copa fans have spoken, so therefore we listen. They are asked some questions via social media about the boots, and uh, we're going to go through them today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Guys, can we be a little bit more serious? Oh, sorry. As promised, we have the questions about the boot, but first of all, what's your first impressions? I love them, you know, I think the Hyper Venom is very comfortable, you know, straight out of the box, and I've been a big fan ever since I first tried them on. All right, well, let's go into the questions. The first question is um, from Emerson10. He says, what was the idea behind the new Hyper Venom? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You know, Neymar loves diamonds and he also loves his sister and they both actually have a diamond tattoo on, on their arms. So that kind of, you know, inspired the Nike team to create this liquid diamond Hyper Venoms. How does it compare to other Hyper Venoms though? Tech-wise, it's actually the exact same Hyper Venom as all the other previous Hyper Venoms. It's just a different colorway. Brian Yee, he asked a question that a lot of people asked. It was regarding the grip. How good is the grip for the Hyper Venom? You know, you can see probably it has like this very honeycomb-like uh, texturized upper and you know, more texture means more grip. I was also reading through a lot of the comments and people are asking, can they have the boots? Can they have them? Well, we'll find out at the end of the show they can exactly. actually Exactly, we're giving away a pair, so stay tuned. All right, next question here is from Adin. Adin asks, do you prefer the laces to be on the outside, like the Hyper Venoms, or in the middle, like the Mercurials? I'm gonna go for the, you know, off-center lacing, like on the Hyper Venom. I feel like it gives like a bigger striking zone because the laces are not, you know, on the way. There are no distractions. All right, going to Jamie's uh, question now. He says, uh, are they built for speed, power, or accuracy? Well, actually none of those. Um, Nike designed the Hyper Venom for deadly agility. So, you know, when you think about players like Neymar, they are, you know, dribbling past defenders and making, you know, sharp cuts in small spaces. You see the conical studs, they give you a better ability to, you know, uh, rotate on the ground and all that kind of stuff. So Bobby Carter asks, how light do they feel compared to the F50s? I think the Hyper Venom feels, you know, more or less the same weight, around about 200 grams. They happen to be 205 grams, they're identical in weight. It's Baze says, can you give us three examples why the boots are good? For me, it's because I have pretty wide feet and the Nike Skin Upper, you know, it's, it's really soft. So it's very comfortable, even on my wide feet. You know, you're really close to the ball. I like that, you know, you can feel every single touch. I really like small conical studs because, you know, I don't feel stuck on the ground, you know, because of the nice ability to rotate. So that's it for the review. Hoyt, thank you so much for the questions. And you guys out there, make sure you also head over to Copa 90's channel, where I did some Neymar skill tutorials with these same boots. Click the link and that is where you can have the opportunity to win the Nike Hyper Venom boots. Boom. And in order for you to win, you have to subscribe to my channel, to Copa 90's channel, and tweet the link to this video with the hashtag JolterCopa90. And that's it. Poets, thank you so much for joining. No problem. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're out.